the diaspora. It's not just some group of people somewhere we are pleading to, to come to Nigeria and do us a favor, quote unquote. My view is that the diaspora population constitutes the other Nigeria, and therefore the development of Nigeria is not a choice, it is a duty. And I will come to that. And I want to also argue that for this to happen, organization is key. But there is something that distinguishes the diaspora and why they matter so much. The diaspora, on the average, the average person in diaspora has higher level of education and skills relative to the average person in the homeland. In other words, if you aggregate whether the one point something million dollars in Europe and America um, that you put together, they will constitute the largest concentration of the pool of productive resources amongst Nigerians of any other concentration anywhere else within the mainland. And that is why diaspora matters. Capital is not color neutral. And so in this world where you get uh, either discriminated upon anywhere all over the world, even with the financial institutions, having one back home, having one that looks like you, having one that relates like you, where you can knock and then someone can open the door, and that opens the doors to many other things. For me, ladies and gentlemen, developing the homeland, therefore, is not something that we have a choice. It is in our enlightened self-interest to do so.